Hello everyone and welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to learn how to make your part look at another part. We're going to learn about the up vector and we're going to learn about the look vector. Here you can see my red box is currently looking at this part right here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it, I'm going to rotate it so it's facing in a different direction. So now it's no longer looking at this box. If I want my box to look at this box, if you don't have a command bar, you, again, you can go to view tab and click on command bar to open up your command bar. Once you have the command bar open, just enter the following line. Basically, to get your part to look at another part, you need to change its C frame. So I want my red box to look at this part over here. This part is part one. So I need to change the red box C frame. I set it equals to cframe.new and this is the old way of doing it. So I'm going to show you the old way first and then I'm going to show you the new way of doing it. So this is the old way. The old way is to use cframe.new and you have two parameters. The first parameter is the position where you want your red box to be. So I want it to be at the same current position. So I set it equals to its own current position. And this is a vector 3. The second parameter is also a vector 3. And it is the position where you want it to look at. So I want it to look at this box here. And this box is called part 1. So I set the second parameter equals to the position of part 1. So now if I hit enter, you can see my red box is looking at this part 1. Again, this is the old way of doing it. Now we're going to look at the new way of doing this. First, let me rotate this red box away from this part one. And then if I wanted to look at part one using the new way of doing it, instead of cframe.new, I'm going to say cframe.look at. Notice everything else is exactly the same as the old way of doing it. The only difference is instead of cframe.new, we're using cframe.look at. And now if I go here and hit enter, it's looking at the part one same as it did before. Now if you want the red box to look at this part one from a different position, you can specify a new position for the red box here. Let's take a look. If I hit enter now, the red box is going to move to a new position and still looking at the, the uh, part one here. Here we go, enter. You see, it has moved to its new position and it's still looking at part one. The benefit of using it the new way using cframe.lookat is you have an additional parameter here that you can use. The additional parameter is the up vector. And if you don't specify it, the default is the y axis. So basically, um, you use this parameter to indicate which way is up for your part. Kind of similar to like a shipping box, it has the arrows and it says this part is up or this way is up. Um, so it works the same here, you, you indicate which way is up for your part. Again, uh, the Y axis is the default. So if I do it this way, it's going to be the same as before as if we're not specifying this parameter because it is the default. So now it still looks at the part same as before, but if I change the axis, say, say if I say, no, the X axis is up instead of the Y axis. Now, if I hit enter, you can see that it's laying sideways because we're saying the X axis is, is up. On the other hand, if I say the Z axis is up instead of the X axis, then it's gonna lay the other way. And there it is. So when using cframe.lookat and if your part is not standing up right, like the way you want it to be, then you can use the up vector to adjust that. You can use the look vector to get your part to move towards the object that it's looking at. For example, if I want my red box to move towards part one over here, I'm gonna say I'm gonna set the red box cframe equals to itself 
its own C frame plus its own C frame dot look vector. Now if I hit enter, it's gonna move one unit towards this box right here. There it goes. If I keep hitting enter, it's gonna keep on moving each time by one unit towards the box. If I want it to move faster, say if I want it to move by 20 units instead of one unit, I'm just gonna multiply the look vector by 20. And now if I hit enter, it jumps 20 units towards the spot where it was looking at. So now it's hitting the box. Let's now take a look at how all this work inside a script. We now go to service script service. We're gonna add a script. In your script, just enter the following lines. On the first five lines here, I declare my red box and I declare the four different parts in my workspace. This here is my red box and these are the four parts. Part one, two, three, and part four. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the red box to look at part one first and then it's gonna walk towards part one, then it's gonna look at part two and it's gonna walk towards part two, then the same, it's gonna go to part three and part four. We're not using the blue box, so just ignore that. So again, I'm declaring the five different parts here, part one through four and the red box. We're gonna go down here, we're gonna wait for 10 seconds. And then we're changing the red box C frame to look at part one. Once that's done, we're gonna start to walk towards part one. So initially we're gonna wait for one second before we start walking. And the for loop here from one through 30 is gonna let the red box take 30 steps towards the part that it was looking at using the look vector. Once we're done with this, we're gonna wait for one second. And then we're gonna look at the second part. We're gonna look at part two. And then we're gonna walk towards part two. We're gonna do the same thing for part three and part four. Let's now play and take a look. So there's the red box right there. You see it's looking at part one and it's, it's, it's starting to walk towards part one. I don't know if it's gonna hit it. Almost hit it. And it's looking at part two now. It's walking towards part two. So each time it's gonna take 30 steps and that's 30 steps. Now it's gonna go to part three. And finally, it's gonna go to part four. Instead of using the look vector to walk towards the part, I can do this. Here I'm setting my part C frame equals to itself plus a new C frame with a negative one in the Z component and that would make my part take a step forward each time. Let's play and take a look. So there's my red box. It just looked at part one and now it's moving. Now it's looking at part two. It's gonna go to part two. Oh, look at that. I'm on top of the box. Whoa, <laughs> that was tough. It's not easy to stay on top of the box. Now it's moving to part three. And lastly, it's gonna turn. And it's moving to part four. Everyone, that's how you use cframe.lookat, the up vector, and the look vector in Roblox. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you again soon. Take care.